13 Action News Update sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Jackie Kostek and right now on your 13 Action News Update, the Sandy Valley fire burning southwest of the valley is now 60% contained. The Bureau of Land Management says it's still burning more than 1,300 acres. Crews have been able to reopen Sandy Valley Road and Potosi Pass Road. Investigators believe the fire started from a spark that was caused by people target shooting last week. Clark County is continuing its efforts to get more people vaccinated. Tomorrow night, Area 15 is hosting vaccines after dark. The visitors who get the shot will also get some free ice cream. The pop up vaccine site at Allegiant Stadium will also reopen Thursday through next Sunday. And we have an excessive heat warning in effect all week. It starts on Monday. High 111 and we're just going to keep climbing. These are dangerously hot conditions, so stay hydrated, stay out of the heat as much as possible. Maybe crank that AC Wednesday 116 historic here for how long this heat is lasting and it's not going anywhere heading into next weekend. And as Bree said, this heat can definitely be dangerous, so make sure you know what to look out for when it comes to heat related illness. For heat cramps, watch out for headaches, dizziness and nausea. Those are when you get muscle spasms, you usually from losing hydration through sweat. Dizziness and fainting are all signs of heat exhaustion. And heat stroke is when your core temperature is 104 degrees or higher. So if you stop sweating, get spasms and pain, these are all signs of that. And if you or someone you know is having signs of heat related illness, call 911 and try to get that person into a cool space. And remember, we are your first alert weather station, so you can always download that free KTNV app to learn what the weather will be like in your neighborhood. Have a great night.